Hello, my welcome back to my channel, guys. Before I start working on the Honda, please help me subscribe to the channel. Click that bell notification so every time I have a new video, you guys will be updated. But I'm working on the uh, 2021 Honda Accord 2.0 hybrid. So right now, the current code is uh, P0441 EVAP Perch Flow Malfunction. Uh, it's kind of new for a Honda to have a check engine light, but uh, whatever. Uh, the uh, customer did his own Diag and he bought the part for me. Um, and he just want the labor for me uh, to put it in because uh, he did his own Diag. Um, so this is the part number for uh, both of them. Now this car has two perch valve, uh, one on top, uh, one on the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure which one is which, but I'll find out when uh, I take them out. So uh, the one with the uh, bigger tube right here uh, is this part number, the A01. And then the one with the smaller two with the A11. And you can see the tube right here is smaller than that one. So now I'm just gonna replace it. For the uh, perch valve, it's right behind the engine. Uh, you can see right there, that's the perch valve. And uh, the other one is under it. So once you take out this one, um, you, have, you can get to the uh, bottom one. Now I got the uh, top perch valve out, the one with the uh, bigger tube right here. It sits on top. Uh, you can see the uh, bottom one. The bottom one's right here. It's a little bit harder to uh, get to. Uh, since you're here, check out the connector. Uh, this is the perch valve connector. Press on this tab, pull it down to get it unlocked. Make sure you guys check the pin. It's not damaged. Make sure you guys check the wire. It's not broken. Uh, this one is kind of a little bit tight spot to get to, but there's two bolts holding on to it, the same thing. And then the uh, connector sits right here. You can see just the uh, bottom perch valve is a lot harder for me to get to. Um, the uh, bottom perch valve is uh, connected, is mounted on this bracket right here. Uh, the reason why I had this bolt back because uh, I want to use a plier to uh, uh, to have it hold in one spot and use the plier to get the clamp off the uh, tube right here and then uh, from there I can uh, uh, use my little uh, plier like this clamp clamp the uh, clamp and then uh, move it back and then from there I can shove it in here like this and then pry the tube back so once I get the top tube and the bottom tube off I can uh, take out the whole uh, perch valve with the bracket up together. So it's been 30 minutes. Um, it's it's a lot harder than I expected. Uh, what I did is I end up uh, taking out all the bracket on the side of here. Uh, this one sits in the back, so I took that one out too. So that way I can uh, um, move the uh, perch valve up and rotate it to turn to get to get access to the uh, bottom bolt. There's way too many hoses. It's, and the clamps are like facing downward, so it's really hard for me to get. But this thing is really kicking my butt, man. I got the uh, perch valve up. This is the uh, bottom bolt right here. This is the hard one to get to. And uh, the hose that was connected to it right here, the clamps is facing down so hard to get to. I got the uh, new perch valve in. I'm gonna put the hose back. Now the installation is just gonna be the uh, reverse step of the uh, removal. Now you can see I have two of my old one out. And then I'm just gonna put my uh, top one back on it later. I got everything back to its original place. Uh, remember the one with the bigger tube is on top. The one with the smaller tube stays on the bottom. And there you go, I put everything back. Now on the uh, bracket back to the uh, normal position. Now just clear the check engine light. Right now I have the uh, key on. I'm gonna show you the code again. There you go, that's for permanent temporary. It's also the same. Now for this one, since he do his own diag, um, if I clear the check engine light and if it goes away, then that's good. But if it doesn't go away, that's on him because he did his own diag. Clear the code. Continue. Go. hope he did the right diag so uh, for this one that is it for a uh, uh, both perch valve 
replacement on a uh, 2021 Honda Accord. It's pretty brand new for a Honda to have a check engine light and it's almost 50,000 miles. Pretty brand new, never see it happen to a Honda. But uh, that is it for this video guys. If you guys are new to my channel, please help me subscribe. If you guys have any comment, question, comment down below. Ask me anything you wanna ask me. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But uh, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.